Welcome back to Switch Corner. My name is Alex and today Digital Cyber Cherries, they were kind enough to sponsor this video. They asked me to tell you all about the latest massive free update for Hypercharge Unboxed. They've been big supporters of the channel over the years. It's always been a pleasure to work with them. So hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and let's take a look at all the new reasons you should be jumping into Hypercharge Unboxed. Okay, so if you're seeing this part of the video, it means Hypercharge Unbox. It's currently on sale thanks to the Blockbuster sale event. It's happening right now. It's rocking 30% off. That's across all regions, and that is a steal for a whole lot of games. So if you haven't checked it out already, maybe take a look, see if it's going to be one for you. So just a quick recap for those maybe new to the game, Hypercharged Unbox, it's a first person or third person shooter with think a small soldier's Toy Story theme. It's in a huge amount of free updates, so since release, there's a huge amount of charm in jumping in though and seeing toys from your childhood. I reviewed the game here on the channel, I also covered all of the updates as well. You'll find those linked in the pinned comment down below. An all-out shooter though, you'll be defending what's known as the core, and that's via both gunplay and some minor tower defense elements as well. You see this one, it is wave-based, so between rounds you can set up turrets, traps, all sorts of kind of like goodies. That's just the core mode, then alongside that you can expect co-op, both local and online, single player, PvP, split screen, even mini games based on some of the top toys. It's good stuff and it runs and looks great on the Switch as well. So before we finally get to this new update, then expect at the end of this video a quick sneak peek at what you can expect from the next update following this one. They are already hard at work on it and this, it's going to be a big one and it's been long requested. So onto this new update then and this, it's a long old list for you all today so get comfortable. I'm not even going to be including half of it honestly, just choice picks here, but we're starting with new enemy types. First there is a new boss in the game known as Brobot. It's all about basically putting the pressure on you. You may notice as well though bosses now, they have handy little health bars so you can kind of see that progression. Then we're also getting new smaller enemies for those wave based moments. These new enemies, we've got drones that are all about, you know, the speed, spacemen dropping from the sky, ninjas that look absolutely awesome as they jump and flip all over the shop. My favourite though, it has to be what's known as tiny trotters. They are running around on clouds in attack patterns and they for sure resemble a certain famous pony toy line with added aggression. New enemies then for me means I'd really like new weapons and levels to battle it out against them on and we've got that here too. Gun wise, we've got a freeze gun for anyone that wants to play Dr. Freeze. We also get a plasma cannon that literally disintegrates your enemies ahead of you which is somewhat kind of disturbing when you think of, you know, ponies on clouds in the sky facing execution by disintegration. At the same time it's kind of honestly genius as well. There's even then a new radar attachment that can be picked up to make tracking down your foes a whole lot easier as well. You can use this attachment in either first person, third person, or even attach it to your HUD. Levels wise then we've got two new additions, Shed of the Dead is first, that is a smaller one designed for quick matches. A whole lot of verticality in this one, it's designed for PvE and PvP. Then we're also getting the Lost Isle, it's the tutorial level that's been repurposed here for Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch and Plague Modes. While well, I'm on Plague Mode actually as well, that's got some new additions here as well, actually in fact it's had like a whole redesign. For those that don't know the mode, it's basically one player was infected, chases down everyone else, but it had this issue with campers, meaning the one infected player would be looking everywhere for players that were essentially camping in near impossible to reach locations. Now they've gone and mixed it up though and players they must move to designated spots that will earn them points and the most points wins the match. No more easy going on the non-infected and they've even boosted the infected speed, lowered the damage taken from non-infected gunshots and they've made ammo more scarce. This like the majority of the list was based again on community feedback. So let's check off a couple of things here then that sound minor but make a big difference. First the play menu. As small as this may seem, Hypercharge has been growing ever since launch and now it's kind of packing a whole lot of content and that made the menus, I'd say, a little more challenging at times to navigate. Now they fix it up with a new and simple clean look. Now I know it's small but it's important when you just want to kind of jump straight into the action. 
Then, and I promise you this one is huge, they've updated the jumping in-game. Now, Hypercharge, it's a surprisingly vertical game, allowing you to climb near anything, but the jumping at moments, it could take a little finesse. So they've changed two things. They've changed up the responsiveness, feels a whole lot better. They've also improved the faulting. They've sped it up, making it feel more, I guess, essential to kind of, you know, moving your soldier, your warrior forwards. That just means it's better than ever, and that verticality was actually one of the highlights in my review. Our final three updates for the video then, these are all about the characters. First, we've got new skins. We've got four new full-on skins as well as four new heads. If you're new to the world of Hypercharge and Buxed, it's got some serious customization. You can make some serious combinations of characters. Then we get a whole new class known as the Nebulon. These are actually going to be unlocked on the new Shed of the Dead stage. And you can unlock not only new heads, but also secret bubble heads and multiple skins as well. Now I just want to reiterate here as well, everything I've told you this far in the video, completely free to you if you own the game. As I said as well, they've done multiple free updates just like this one for the community. It's really for them all about taking that player feedback and making it the best game they possibly can. I say this next bit in every video to do with Digital Cyber Cherries as well, and yes, this is sponsored, but this is also my opinion. This is how you do a game right with the amount that you know they've added. They could have easily just slapped a two on the end of the name and called it a day. Instead, they didn't. They've chosen to support their original release, and they keep on giving back. If you do, however, want to show them a little support back though, there's also a new small paid DLC releasing alongside this massive free update. This is going to be two new characters, that's Breaker and Mitus. They're packing 13 skins and weapon materials. Again though, this DLC, purely cosmetic, nothing more the way it should be. There's no impact to the balancing of the game or the experience. And that is it for this update, but I promised you a sneak peek of what's to come in the next update, and I think long-time fans like me, they're going to be excited for this one, but I'm happy to say campaign mode, it is coming as we explore the lore of this world through a 90s style comic, we're going to be learning about max ammo and those that want to destroy the hypercore, and it's going to have objective based gameplay as well as boss moments, and you'll be able to play it offline, online, and then in split screen local as well. It has been long requested from the community, it's going to be great to see what it does for the game though, because this this one, these characters, they really do have so much personality and they absolutely deserve a story of their own. Okay, and we are officially done with all the new updates, so what do you all think? I know Digital Cyber Cherries, they'll no doubt be in the comments looking to see, you know, the response, see all the feedback, so make sure to let them know. Hopefully, you're all as excited as I am to share this latest update for Hypercharge Unboxed. With that then a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know so thank you all so much. Another huge shout out then to Digital Cyber Cherries interesting me to bring you all of this news. The support, it's truly appreciated. And with that luck hit subscribe if you love the Switch. As much as we all do here, join our growing family. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.